Good afternoon, people. Watch from the 65, Lisa Boyce. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Let me give you a verse of scripture out of Ezekiel 38, 10. And it says, Thus saith the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind. Talking about Russia and the rest of the nations that are not only against the U.S., but against Israel. At the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. And that will happen. That's happening right now. So let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. That is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son. Wow. That whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood... The moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time. And you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, and change you, if you let it. So, this I'm going to go by telegram. First of all, what's coming out right now. So, um, and this is saying, and this is the Times of Israel, and this is saying that chances of war resuming in Lebanon are 50%. Some defense officials said, said to estimate. So this war is probably going to resume. Now, Netanyahu had a cabinet meeting yesterday because I guess Lebanon and others violated the ceasefire. So, some in Israel's security uh, establishment are estimating the chances of a resumption of the war against Hezbollah in Lebanon at 50%, according to Ynet. So, the report says that one of the reasons the government is yet to call on tens of thousands of displaced residents of the north to return to their homes. The more the rules and their enforcement are clear, from the get-go, the better they would hold up later. So, I don't know whether this thing is going to... I think this thing is going to break at any time. I, I when, As soon as they put it out there, it was, it was a done deal. I mean, it was... Yeah, this is not going to last. <laughs> this is not going to last at all. So, it's going to resume. And Netanyahu has already said that they will be hit harder this time than before. Now let's go to Russia because right now there are U.S. officials stating that um, U.S. intelligence are saying that the nuclear rhetoric that Putin is putting out is bluffing. He's bluffing about this. Now let me just give you something that says he's not bluffing. But, of course, the U.S. intelligence community is saying that he is. And this came out, I think, late last night or this morning. Russia is expected to launch a devastating airstrike on the Ukrainian capital of Kiev with the RS-26 Oroshnik ballistic missile. Putin said yesterday he's already confirmed it. The Russian Defense Ministry is collecting location of target sites. So, now this hypersonic missile, this new hypersonic missile is not a joke. 
and the U.S. intelligence community is putting a spin, is putting, is trying to downgrade the rhetoric right now because they know that people are listening and they know that people will panic. That's why when you look at the DEFCON levels, they're not real because they're not going to put the actual DEFCON levels out there for the public to see it because the public will panic. Russia's new hypersonic missile comes equipped with an extremely powerful thermal warhead that burns at 4,000 degrees Celsius. The sun burns at about 5,000 degrees Celsius. This thing is hot enough to vaporize concrete, destroy even the most hardened military hardware and even melt steel beams. The sun is at 55 degrees Celsius. This thing is absolutely no joke, okay? And for the U.S. intelligence community to downgrade anything that Putin and Russia is putting out there is asinine. This is what they're saying. U.S. intelligence says Putin is bluffing about a nuclear attack threat. The U.S. decision is to allow Ukraine to fire American weapons deeper into Russia has not increased the risk of a nuclear attack, which is unlikely despite Russia's uh, President Vladimir Putin's increasingly um, statements. Five sources familiar with U.S. intelligence told Reuters. However, Two senior officials, a lawmaker, and two congressional aides briefed on the matter said Russia is likely to expand a campaign of sabotage against European targets to increase pressure on the West over its support for Kiev. Now, a series of intelligent assessments over the past seven months have, been, have concluded nuclear escalation was unlikely to result from a decision to loosen restrictions on Ukraine's use of U.S. weapons. This is exactly where Russia wants the U.S. Because right now, what the U.S. is doing and what NATO is doing is calling his bluff. That's what they're doing. You call someone's bluff long enough. This guy has more nuclear weapons than, than the U.S. on any given day. So you're going to call his bluff and he's going to react. And it's going to be a bad day for everybody. So a series of intelligence and assessment has said that he's bluffing. So the sources who were granted, listen to this, the sources were granted an anonymity to speak freely about sensitive intelligence. Now, so they're speaking in secret. So they don't want to come out and be known who they are, but they're speaking in secret that he's bluffing. Said that view has not changed following President Joe Biden's change in U.S. stance on weapons this month. The assessments were consistent. The attackums weren't going to change Russia's nuclear calculus, said one congressional aide briefed on the intelligence referring to American missiles with a range of about 190 miles. 306 kilometers. So Russia's launch of new ballistic missiles last week, which analysts say was meant as a warning to Washington and its European allies, has not changed that conclusion. One of the five U.S. officials said that Washington assessed that Russia was, would not seek to escalate with its nuclear forces. So they're going to keep giving money to Ukraine and Kiev. And they're going to keep giving weapons and telling Ukraine and Kiev to go deeper and NATO to go deeper into Russia, Russia's backyard. And they're going to keep saying that he's bluffing. He's not going to use nuclear weapons. That is a dangerous position. And that goes to show you that this administration could care less about the American people because there is not one bomb shelter here in the U.S., but yet you have Siberia or Serbia and you have Germany all building bomb shelters.
dollars because they know what's coming. But the U.S. wants the people to think that, oh yeah, Russia's bluffing. Yeah. Officials uh, initially res uh, resisted such a move, citing escalation concerns of uncertainty of how Putin would respond. So like I said, they're going to keep calling his bluff and keep calling his bluff. This is, um, this is insanity at its highest, for real. So I'm going to link this in the description box. I have an appointment out of all days, Black Friday today, but um, I will be back later. <laughs> and I will see what else is going on today. I don't feel, I, I feel kind of under the weather a little bit, but I'll be okay. So. But I'll be back later. I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. Uh, let me give you something else while I'm at it. If you really think, if you know, you cannot accept what the U.S. is, is saying about this whole thing. This came out last night. And I think I gave you a little bit of this. This came out yesterday. About once these troops get attacked, Article 5 will be invoked and NATO will declare war on Russia. This thing is more serious than what they're putting out, but they want, they're trying to lower the rhetoric again and make people think. And some people will buy that. Oh, yeah, it's not that serious. It's not that serious. Yeah, this is very, very serious. They're talking about launching that new missile tomorrow. Yeah. So for this U.S., so-called U.S. Uh, government, this administration, to downplay this and think that he's bluffing, like I said, is asinine. So I'm going to link the articles in the description box, and I will be back on later. Thank you.